I have studied many research papers to understand which supplements help to combat hair loss, fight hair loss, and in this video, I'm gonna be revealing all, so make sure to keep watching. Hello, my name is Iman, I suffer from hair loss, and over the years, I've been able to really fight my hair loss and improve the quality of my hair, and this channel is about sharing all that I've learned with you guys. So if that is something of interest, make sure to subscribe. I'll be speaking about two powerful ingredients that you might not know about that reduces the 5-alpha reductase enzyme. Plus, I'll also be talking about foods that you should definitely be incorporating to help reduce your testosterone and DHT levels in your body. So, just to classify what type of hair loss I have, because it really is important to understand what type of hair loss you have, and to help others that are similar to me, I suffer from androgenetic alopecia. One of the leading causes of hair loss is DHT. What is DHT? Well, DHT is a sex hormone which is responsible for characteristics like body hair. However, too much DHT can cause hair loss, especially those genetically prone to pattern baldness. Now DHT is an enzyme that gets converted from testosterone. If you have high levels of testosterone or you have a marker in your genes that makes you more susceptible to converting testosterone to DHT, then this is the video for you. I really recommend seeing your doctor, getting diagnosed, and this video is specifically for anyone suffering from androgenetic alopecia, which is largely caused by hormonal imbalances as well as genetics. Before I go into natural supplements that have helped me combat hair loss and that have really amazing evidence to show that it helps with androgenetic alopecia, let's first talk about what are the common medicines that you can get right now from your doctor, from your pharmacy that treats hair loss from the inside. And that is Finistride. Finistride is an over-the-counter drug that basically helps to reduce the levels of DHT in your system. Now there is an enzyme that is called 5-alpha reductase, which is an enzyme that converts testosterone to DHT. Now DHT binds to the hair follicle and miniaturizes it, restricting blood flow and restricting nutrients that help your hair to grow. This is the mechanism that is caused by DHT and it's really important to understand that. Finistride works by reducing that enzyme and stopping the conversion to testosterone. What's important to know about Finistride is that it was first prescribed to men to treat prostatic hyperplasia in men. Women shouldn't take Finistride if they are pregnant because it can cause birth defects. Other side effects include impotency and loss of libido as well as prostate enlargement. And it was then also prescribed to treat andro genetic alopecia. Remember, there hasn't been any new medicine in the field of hair loss for 40 years. Finasteride is, or Prosca is generally not recommended for women. A lot of men have also cited getting depression from taking Finasteride, as well as low mood, anxiety, and sometimes in rare cases can cause tumors. So we've learned about what's available on mainstream medicine and it's just not good enough. I think the side effects outweigh the benefit and there just has to be better alternatives alternatives. And fortunately, there are better alternatives. Today, I'm going to be talking about two supplements which you can incorporate to help reduce testosterone. But watch till the end because I will be recommending the best supplements, the best brands, because it's really important you get a specific type of this supplement, of this ingredient, so that it's effective enough in treating your hair loss. So number one, which is a very more commonly known, is saw palmetto. Let's look at the evidence to show that saw palmetto helps to reduce DHT. There was a study done in 2012 with 100 men who suffered from mild to moderate androgenetic alopecia. Half of them took Finistride and half of them took 320 milligrams of saw palmetto. Both groups did this for 24 months, a very long time. 38% of patients treated with saw palmetto saw hair growth versus 68% of those who took Finistride. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that saw palmetto doesn't work. It just means that dosage is really important and it is 
effective at helping to reduce DHT. Remember that natural ingredients don't have a lot of scientific evidence to support it because no studies have been done on it because none of the pharmaceutical companies are going to invest their money to prove a natural ingredient is better than a chemical or a patented medicine because they cannot make money off natural remedies. There was a study done in Italy in 2004 and there were three groups. The group that saw the most growth were individuals that took saw palmetto and applied it topically. In the group that used saw palmetto topically and internally, saw a 35% increase in hair count and a 67% decrease in sebum production, which is pretty awesome because I suffer from a very greasy scalp. Can I get a hell yeah? Okay, just me. In terms of how long will it take before you see results, I reckon about three to six months before you can see whether it is helping you. There are some side effects of soil palmetto, including an upset stomach or diarrhea, but if you eat it with food, then this should be avoided. Always consult your doctor if you are planning on taking any supplement to make sure that it doesn't interact with the drugs that you're already taking and that it doesn't imbalance your hormones. One thing is that saw palmetto does interfere with oral contraceptives. So if you are taking the pill, make sure to be cautious. Additionally, the tannins in saw palmetto can affect iron absorption. Iron is really important for hair growth and hair loss. So do make sure you're eating more iron rich food if you do choose to take saw palmetto to increase the absorption of iron. I speak about iron a lot, so make sure to incorporate that and get your blood check to see your iron levels. I will link saw palmetto along with dosage in the comments. Now I'm really excited to talk about this next supplement that not many people know about, but which I take and I think has been really beneficial in my hair growth and my hair loss journey. And that is red reishi. Red reishi is regarded in Asia as the herb of spiritual potency. This mushroom has been used for thousands of years in ancient medicine. The mushroom itself has a corky texture and a red velvet cap, hence the name red reishi. Now, in an exciting study in 2005, a Japanese study analyzed different types of mushroom to see which one was the best at reducing, inhibiting 5 alpha reductase. And remember, this is the enzyme that causes DHT, which then causes hair loss. The researchers tested 19 species and reishi was shown to reduce the enzyme by 70 to 80%. And as you can see from this graph, red reishi was the top mushroom at being able to do this. For reference, Pluritus osteratus, which is the next best mushroom, was able to inhibit it by 60%. I don't know about you, but I have watched Fantastic Fungi on Netflix and I was blown away by the amazing benefits of mushrooms that are largely untapped by our society and the people of this world. I think mushrooms are an amazing organism that spans across the whole of the world. Their mycelium network is just fascinating and there are so many benefits of incorporating mushrooms in your diet and in this world. There are so many different species, some that we don't even know about, and I think the power of mushrooms really can heal the world, and I'm not just saying that. With red rice, you do have to be careful because it can cause stomach upsets. Anything to do with mushrooms, ingesting it, your body finds it quite difficult to absorb and to digest, so you want to make sure you are taking it correctly. Now there's some amazing new brands coming out with some mushroom teas, mushroom supplements, so it's become Coming a lot more popular. So how can you choose the best red reishi supplement for you? Well, I have tested quite a few red reishi supplements and I am linking the best one for you guys that you should be taking if you are suffering from hair loss. The other amazing benefits about red reishi is that it does help to induce a really deep restful sleep. So if you are suffering from insomnia, taking red reishi is gonna help with that. Now you wanna take red reishi after dinner, a couple hours after and just before bed time so that your body has enough time to digest and use the amazing compounds to help heal the body from within. If I was to choose between these two, I would definitely start with red reishi just because I feel there's more evidence to show that red reishi helps to reduce 
have alpha reductase, which is what you want. Remember, the key to the success of treating your hair loss is by taking an attacked approach using derm rollering, typical treatments like hair growth oils, which I'll link all in my description. You want to attack hair loss from all angles, topically and internally. Other foods to include is pumpkin seed oil, green tea, omega-3 and omega-6. So flax seeds and hemp seeds are going to be really important. Incorporating these foods as well is going to help to reduce your testosterone and DHT levels. Make sure to incorporate foods high in zinc like spinach and kale, lycopene rich foods like mango and tomatoes, and lysine rich foods like flax seeds and green tea. All of these foods are going to help to reduce 5-alpha reductase. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to watch my How to Beat Hair Loss playlist.